On the 24th of April 1982, three weeks into the Argentine occupation of the Falklands Islands, a naval air station by the name of Naval Air Station Cauldron was established on Pebble Island. This air station was home to around 150 Argentine personnel and aircraft, including the T-34 Mentor light ground attack plane belonging to the Navy, and FMA IA-58 Pucara ground attack and counterinsurgency plane belonging to the Air Force. Due to the station's close proximity to San Carlos waters, it was deemed a threat to the Royal Navy ships in the area, as well as the fact that reconnaissance by the T-34 aircraft could have compromised the Navy's manoeuvres before their planned landing on the East Falklands. As a result, it was deemed necessary by Rear Admiral Woodward, the commander of the task force during the Falklands War, that the threat created by the air station needed eliminating. On the 10th of May, Woodward asked D Squadron of 22 SAS if they were able to help take care of the problem. Despite the SAS claiming that they needed three weeks to prepare for the mission, they were given until the 15th of May, a mere five days in order to plan, prepare and complete their mission. The first step of the mission took place on the night of the 11th of May, when an eight-man boat troop patrol in four clepper canoes were dropped off at Purvis Bay and paddled to Deep Ferny Valley to lay up and observe Pebble Island. In particular, the area around Phillips Cove which was their intended infiltration point. After a few days, the men then paddled over to Phillips Cove, at which point they split into two four-man patrols. One patrol would stay at the cove in order to dismantle and hide the canoes, whilst the other would go and wait for first light to observe the airfield. After radioing back to their waiting force on the HMS Hermes that they had spotted 11 aircraft and asking for a confirmed ETA on the rest of the raiding force, they received a message back informing them that the rest of the squadron would be joining them at 22.30 hours. HMS Hermes, the destroyer HMS Glamorgan, and the frigate HMS Broadsword set off towards Pebble Island. On the 14th of May, at 8.45pm, on the deck of HMS Hermes, 45 men, made up from D Squadron SAS and men from the 148 Battery Royal Artillery, set off in four Sea King helicopters. They had initially planned to set off at 8pm, however the weight of the men meant 45 minutes had to be spent burning fuel in order for the helicopters to be safe to fly. At 11.45pm, the helicopters arrived at Phillips Cove and the men set off towards their objectives. Following a change of plan, the mountain troop would be attacking the airfield and destroying the aircraft with the air troop providing fire support and the mobility troop stayed back in the reserve with a 60mm mortar. In order to divert attention from the ground attack, the HMS Glamorgan began firing upon the western side of the airfield. The Argentinians, believing they were being shelled to soften them up for a ground attack later on, began to try and start fighting the fires which had been created in the shelling. The SAS opened fire on the men trying to fight the fires, who then went and took cover in their bunkers where they began to return fire. The mountain troops split into seven two-man teams and managed to destroy five planes with explosive charges, with the remainder of the aircraft being destroyed by ripping out wire, shooting fuel lines and throwing grenades at them. Following on from destroying aircraft, an explosive charge was set off halfway across the runway. Throughout the whole raid, it was reported that the Argentinian forces remained confused and unable to effectively react to what was going on around them, due to them primarily remaining in their bunkers following the shelling. At 3.45am, the men were all back in their helicopters and heading back to the HMS Hermes, and arrived back to the aircraft carrier at 5.30am. The results of the raid resulted in all 11 aircraft being damaged, out of the 6 Picaras, 1 had serious damage, 3 had minor damage, 1 had shrapnel damage, and 1 was damaged but still able to fly. The 4 T-34 Mentors were damaged, and a short SC-7 Skyvan transport plane was destroyed. The SAS and Royal Artillery suffered no fatalities, with only one wounded on their side, and with reports differing from them being wounded by an Argentinian IED or shot in a case of friendly fire, and the Argentinians suffered a fatality of a commanding officer. Overall, the mission was deemed a complete success, with an airfield damaged and 11 aircraft damaged or out of action.